name is Ben's Chili Bowl in Northwest D.C. And we're just taking a stop off on our way to Richmond. You know, we got to eat too. So keep, uh, keep watching, keep looking, and we're on our road to financially empower one million women. What about her message connected with you? Well, I like the way she um, talked about opportunity, seeing opportunity, and I love the word opportunity. That's why I named my beauty academy Golden Opportunities, because oftentimes people see opportunity is this, this often disguised as hard work. Ford Motor Company has put her in a car. She's touring across the South. What do you think about that? You know what I was telling her that I think is wonderful, and it solidifies her message, being that T.D. James and his ministry has supported her, and also having Ford um, give her the car to drive from Maryland to Georgia, I think that is just wonderful. It just solidifies what she's doing. Joseph, why did you want to be here tonight? Um, I was here and I got invited and I heard a lot about this wonderful lady and the things she's been doing across the country. A lot of things with financials and that's really an area that I think a lot of people really need improvement on, just knowledge. Uh, not just anyone, just myself included. And just thought it was the right thing to do because anytime you can get golden nuggets, some knowledge, it's always good to open your ears up and listen. And I was thoroughly pleased. She's able to take this trip through the support of Ford Motor Company. They've got her traveling across the country in a brand new Ford Taurus. What do you think about that? The Ford Taurus? Oh, man, I'm a Ford guy myself. And I actually had a Taurus before my transmission broke. But either way, I can just say that's a lovely car, and it will last you a lifetime if you take care of it. We're excited that the company agreed to support her in that way. Um, I know you didn't get the whole presentation, but a taste of what you heard that says maybe the scale's on to something. Um, I walked in a little bit when she was closing, but everything I got from the past 10 minutes I was sitting there was just phenomenal. Uh, I can only think about what I missed, and th this is why I want to get the book and just dive right into it tonight. Hey guys, just finished up with my interview at WAVY here in Hampton Roads. I was on the Hampton Roads TV show and talking about the Power of the Purse campaign and the fact that women have power in their purses. No, we picked up some more women on our mission to financially empower one million women. Keep watching, tune in, we're on to our next stop. It isn't this lovely, yeah, the Power of the Purse road trip. We had to take a stop, a little pit stop. Yeah, and our four tourists. We're rolling, folks, but we're in lovely Virginia Beach. Look at the water. Take it in, we had to take it in too. We are coming to Raleigh, North Carolina a little later, but hey, what's a little R&R &R while you're on your road trip? Making it a pleasurable one. When I started in that office, I knew nothing. And I said to myself, well, you know what? I better learn something if I'm going to be able to talk to these people on the phone. So after a while, I started looking at the, net, at the business report on PBS. I started reading the Wall Street Journal, looking at the business section of the paper instead of the style section. As I began to learn the language and the lingo, within a few weeks, those same people were calling and they were asking for a quote on Ford and I would say, oh, well, yes, did you see Ford's earnings came out today? And they would say, yes, yes. And then I began to understand how the financial markets work. And what I learned is that it's not difficult at all. One plus one really does equal two. <laughs> CNN, how did it feel? Felt great. Uh, they gave the power of the purse much love, and we know that we're on our path, on our road to get one million women on the path to financial security. Now we've got the National Book Club Conference where I'll sit on a panel and enroll some more women. What does it mean to get this kind of exposure for the campaign? Well, it's tremendous exposure. What it means is that more women are going to know and be inspired by the other women who are starting purse groups and getting their financial house in order. And then you've got uh, the power of the purse road trip powered by the Ford Taurus. Talk about that support and what it means. Well, it really means a lot. I mean, we were able to go into many cities and towns and talk to women about uh, how they can fill up their purses, being uh, having the support of a, a sponsor like Ford uh, in that car and uh, promoting it and promoting the campaign means a great deal. 
What is it about Deborah's message that intrigues you? Well, you know, I actually was making my rounds, but it was the uh, the financial empowerment because I know that's an aspect of my life that needs improvement. So that's kind of what drew me back over and what made me end up picking up the book. It was just, you know, just putting it in common terms, the, a purse of our own. You know, of course, it's something that's all we can relate to and uh, we all can relate to. And it's just what pulled me back in and then reading the back and reading more about it. I know that I need to get my financial house in order and I think Deborah can help me do that. I think for me, it's 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 her passion in talking about us as a community building wealth. I think because so many times we look at other communities and we wonder how they are able to triumph and overcome financially, and it seems like we are, you know, stagnant in that position. And when she talks about the fact that the women really control the finances, whether you're going out and bringing home the bacon or whether you're just waiting for the bacon to come in, the bottom line is we influence, like she said, at least 90% of purchases, and I know it's that way in my house. So I like the idea of building wealth and certainly something I can pass on to my daughter because I want her to be smart about money. So. That's not what I'm talking about here. What I'm saying is behind every wealthy man is a woman who knows how to handle the finances. So her not under, because we handle the finances, we influence 90% of the buying decisions in a household. That's right. So it is critical that we understand how to build wealth and get our act together. And it's an inside job. You know what I mean? So that's what this, in the book I talk about having a spending uh, spending journal and a personal journal so you can get underneath what it is that's driving you. I mean, it's, it's, it's hard for me to look. I'm not frugal yeah. fanny by any stretch of the imagination. But the fact is that we have to become much more, um, how can I say, in tune. Mm -hmm. And we've got to begin to do things on purpose. And it doesn't, this isn't like an overhaul, you know what I'm saying, where you start saving rappers and, you know, yeah. that's not what I'm it's talking about. Steps. What I'm, yeah, it's baby steps and it's the fact that we can do it. We've already got power in our purses, we just got to use it. But we got to start talking about it. That's what the purse groups are about. You know, a lot of us are carrying counterfeit purses. <laughs> you know, we look great, but we ain't got a dime. Carol, talk about this conference and why it's so important for authors. Oh, I love this conference. I, the National Black Book Conference is one of my favorite literary events of the year. I really adore it. It's where I get to see and meet all my authors, all the ones that I know, and I get to meet a lot of new authors and just hear their presentations and give them a hug and a kiss. And we just we just have a great time. This is like the um, the preeminent literary show. For people not familiar with Black Expressions, tell us a little about your organization. Well, Black Expressions is the nation's largest African-American direct-to-consumer book club, and we have a couple hundred thousand members across the nation, and they read for pleasure. It's mostly women, and they just, they love all their favorite authors. They love Zane, and Ertram Dickey, and Eileen Harris, and just all the top authors, Kimberly Lawson Roby, Victoria Christopher Murray, Rashonda Tate Billingsley, the name, the list goes on and on and on. We are so we're really excited because you just picked up A Purse of Your Own by Deborah Owens. Talk about your attraction to that book. Oh, Deborah is so, so smart. That's the first thing. And she's one smart sister. And she has really broken down how we should be more um, accountable with our money. We should be more accountable. We should be investors. We should be savers. And stop being really spenders so much and really concentrate on saving and investing for our future and our, our children and future generations. So she's a smart cookie. I love <laughs> well, it's on the road again. Yes, time to get on the road again. Yes, it's our last day. We're leaving Atlanta. Time to get in the Fort Taurus and roll on back up to Baltimore. It's been a fun trip at the National Book Club Conference. We met a lot of people. Got a CNN hit, and it's exciting. So we're excited just about what lies ahead, but it's time to go home.